Okay, we have eight on. Yeah, we're ready to go. So if you'd like to get the meeting started. Right. Yeah, I'll, I'll call, uh, call this Northern Nevada Water Planning Commission meeting uh, to order Wednesday, May 6, 2020. And uh, item number one on the agenda is a roll call. Daniel Henderson. Michael Widmer. Present. Uh, Bill Hauk. Michael Drinkwater. Here. John Enlow. Here. John Flansburg. Here. Mickey Hazelwood. Here. John Martini. John Combs. Go back to Daniel Henderson. Okay. David Solero. Here. Mervyn Wright. Here. John Zimmerman. Here. Daniel Henderson. Here. Okay. We have a quorum. Okay, uh, item number two is public comments, three minute time limit per person. I don't know if anybody's in the chambers. Uh, there's no one here for public comment. Uh, just for your information, I have a public comment on item number five. Okay. All right, then we'll move on to item number three, which is approval of the agenda. Mervyn, we did yes. Jennifer, did you have something? Can we can we move on to item number three? Yeah, move on to item number uh, three. Okay, so item number three is approval of the agenda. So, if there are any changes or anything, um, I entertain a motion to approve the agenda. Commissioner I would, Solero, move to approve. I would second. Who seconded that? Commissioner Flansburg. Good enough. All right. Uh, all in favor? Say aye. 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 Opposed? Okay, motion carries. Move on then to item number four, which is selection of chair and vice chair but for the term of April 2020 to April 2021 in possible direction, Jim Smitherman. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. So um, the Western Regional Water Commission Act um, states that the NNWPC would uh, elect a chairman uh, annually in rotation from um, among its members. And since all of the positions on the Northern Nevada Water Planning Commission have served as chair, it's, it's time to come back around uh, to kind of open up to start a new rotation. And so really it would be, the, the nominations would be open to any of the voting members who are on the, um, on the Northern Nevada Water Planning Commission at this time. So I would turn it back to uh, you and your commissioners for uh, nominations and selection. Okay, so do we just open it up to our members to, for a volunteer? Or do we need to have somebody nominate an individual? Generally it's worked but with a nomination. All right, well, I'll open this up for nominations uh, for the chair position. This is John Enlow speaking. I was just looking at how we've done it over the last few years. The vice chairman has been rolling up into the chairman position. I think there's three of us, um, four maybe, who have not participated, um, I believe, John Combs, Bill Hauk, John Zimmerman, and John Martini. Bill is currently the vice chair. 
Um, he is not present today because we're waiting for the water conservation district letter to um, reappoint him. However, I would move that um, we would nominate Bill Houck for chairman and he would take over the role at the next meeting. And Mervyn, we would ask that you would continue the meeting today. Okay. Um, are there any comments or objections from the other commissioners? I would second that. Uh, if that was a motion, uh, Commissioner Enlow, uh, this is Commissioner Flansburg, I would second that. It was. Okay. Uh, we have a motion and a second uh, to uh, seat um, Commissioner Houck as the uh, Northern Nevada Water Planning Commission Chair. Any uh, further discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Okay. All right, Bill. Um, <clears throat> then next is our vice chair position. Are there any nominations? I'll open up the nominations. Well, uh, this is Commissioner Flansburg. This makes it kind of easy. John Martini isn't here right now. <laughs> <laughs> So I would recommend John Martini as uh, vice chair. This is Dave Solero. I would second that nomination. Okay. We have a motion to nominate John Martini and we have a second. Any further discussion? Okay. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? A motion carries. Okay. All right, John, two, two guys that are absent today. <laughs> oh, well, that's all right. Hey, that's good. Uh, I'm sure they'll be up for the, up for the role and appreciate their, uh, their uh, commitment to continue serving uh, on our commission. Okay, then we'll move, in, we'll move on the agenda to item number five, which is approval of the minutes from February 5th, 2020, 2020. Uh, Mr. Chairman, I do have a public comment on this item. Okay. So it was received uh, by email from Michael Demartini uh, yesterday uh, on May 5th. So I'll just read into the record uh, what his email said. Uh, this email pertains to item number five, approval of the minutes of February 5, 2020. I will likely not be attending the meeting with Zoom because of security concerns. However, I would like the attached letter dated February 5, 2020, read into the record and specifically included as part of the minutes for possible action at this May 6, 2020 meeting of the NNWPC, February 5, 2020 meeting minutes, since that letter was accepted for the record at that meeting. Currently, the proposed minutes do not include the record, re, the record letter, signed Michael Demartini, PE. Staff's response uh, is that I assured him that I would read his message into the record um, on item five and then um, I emailed out to the commissioners just a couple hours ago, uh, revised, draft, revised draft minutes for February 5 um, that include, uh, that, that state that in item seven that Mr. Demartini's letter is attached. I actually attached the letter that he submitted um, on February 5. So if you um, approve the, uh, the minutes that were emailed to you um, just recently, uh, with, the, with the revisions that I just stated, then we should be in, uh, in compliance with uh, Mr. Demartini's request. Okay, um, sure, yeah, I, I saw those minutes um, and I seem to see the letter uh, attached to the uh, end of those minutes. So uh, those will be the minutes that we'll approve um, uh, for this agenda item. So is there any questions or just comments from the commission? Rod, I'll entertain a motion. Oh, go ahead, uh, Mr. Flansburg, uh, Commissioner Flansburg. Um, thank you, Chair Chairman Wright. Uh, I was gonna, just gonna go ahead and move to approve the 
minutes of the February 5th, 2020 meeting. Mike Widmer, I'll second that. Okay, we have a motion and a second to approve the minutes from the February 5th, 2020 meeting uh, with the attached letter from uh, Mr. Demartini. Any further discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Okay, motion carries. Okay, item number six on the agenda, we have discussion and possible recommendation to the Western Regional Water Commission for approval of a scope of work and funding not to exceed $30,200 from the Regional Water Management Fund for Hansford Economic Consultants to update the cost and finance chapter of the Regional Water Management Plan. Chris Wessel. Thank you, Mr. Chair. As uh, the Commission's aware, staff is currently working to update the Regional Water Management Plan, which includes Chapter 9, the cost and finance chapter. Uh, as, in, as in the past, staff has sought uh, economic expertise to help um, uh, update this portion of the, of the plan. We've asked Catherine Hansford of Hansford Economic Consultants to provide a proposal for the work necessary to complete the task. Hansford Consulting, uh, Economic Consulting has provided this service for the Commission in previous updates, which, has, uh, which was uh, well received. The attached proposal is, um, um, uh, the, the attached proposal is to provide both an update of the chapter as well as a fee burden analysis, which was developed for the last plan update. Uh, the amount would be $30,200 $30, uh, to the Regional Water Management Fund. And I believe we have uh, Catherine Hansford on the line today with us in the meeting. Uh, if you have any questions with regard to, uh, to this item, uh, turn it back to you, Mr. Chair. Thank you, Chris. <clears throat> so are there any questions from the commission uh, for Ms. Hansford? There are no questions and comments. I'll entertain a motion to approve. Um, Commissioner Solaire, I'll make the motion to approve. We have a motion Commissioner Flansburg, I will second that. Okay, we have a motion and a second to approve the scope of work and funding not to exceed $30,000, $30,200 for Hansford Economic Consultants to update the cost and finance chapter of the Regional Water Management Plan. Any further discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Okay, motion carries. Congratulations, Ms. Sanford. Okay, we'll move on then to item number seven, which is discussion and possible recommendation to the Western Regional Water Commission for approval of a scope of work and funding not to exceed $250,000 from the Regional Water Management Fund to support a proposal from the One Truckee River Coalition to implement the One Truckee River Management Plan. Jim Smitherman. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. This item, Commissioner's response to your priority ranking of late last year, I believe the One Truckee River support was, was uh, the top priority for your uh, next fiscal year. Um, just as a bit of history, you supported the One Truckee River effort before it actually had that name back in 2015 for uh, $22,000 to uh, as seed money to get them moving. And since that time, One Truckee River hasn't been back for, for any more uh, funding. And so um, I, they have done a tremendous amount of work um, in putting together the management plan since that time. Uh, the One Truckee River Management Plan is actually summarized in the Regional Water Management Plan, so this would be uh, implementing a portion of uh, our water management plan. Um, just as an example of the, the project level uh, activities, there uh, is a, a, a restroom uh, designed in Portland that is going to be installed at Broadhead Park to uh, it's just to improve sanitary conditions along the river. 
Um, I believe that will happen in June, or at least construction will start in June. And then two more uh, restrooms have been purchased, uh, uh, as I understand. And I, and I believe the total number is, is nine as far as their goal. Um, this scope will give uh, One Trekkie River the ability to create a solid organizational structure under the Trekkie River Foundation and continue with the implementation of their plan. Um, uh, the item is also in the fiscal year 2021 tentative budget that you recommended to the Western Regional Water Commission for $250,000. And I will also add that the hardworking uh, manager of One Trekkie River, Iris Jelle Propard, is, is on the line too. Uh, should you have any questions for her? Back to you, Mr. Chairman. All right, thank you. Um, <clears throat> so are there any questions from the commission? Okay, uh, then I'll entertain a motion um, for approval of a scope of work and funding not to exceed $250,000 for One Truckee River Coalition to implement the One Truckee River Management Plan. Commissioner Zimmerman, move to approve. Commissioner Enlove, second. Okay, we have a motion and a second. Mm -hmm. Any further discussion? Okay, all in favor say aye. 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 Those opposed? Okay, motion carries. We'll move on to item number eight, discussion and possible recommendation to the Western Regional Water Commission for approval of a third amendment to the interlocal agreement with the University of Nevada, Reno, in an amount not to exceed $64,655 from the Regional Water Management Fund to continue the Advanced Water Treatment Technologies Demonstration Project for fiscal year 2020 through 2021 and possible direction to staff. Jim Smitherman. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, this is a project that you're, you're all uh, familiar with to some degree or another, depending on how long you've been on the commission. Um, it's uh, initially proposed as a four-year project, and um, because of uh, circumstances beyond the control of the university, um, they're, they're asking for the project to uh, roll over into its fifth year, and that would be fiscal year 2021. Um, the delays that had a large, uh, largely due to uh, the difficulty in acquiring and assembling um, all of the, the parts for the three uh, advanced wastewater treatment um, uh, units that are uh, implementing, uh, that are implemented at the Reno Stead Water Reclamation Facility presently. So what the proposal does essentially is to take about $97,000 from this fiscal year that was, that was unexpanded because of the delays, roll it into next year, and then add another $64,000. So that would bring the total to $162,400 uh, for next fiscal year, and then it would allow uh, the completion of the project through June of 2021. So I believe that, uh, uh, I'll back up. Um, I outlined what the tasks are. There were, there were nine total tasks um, at the bottom of the first page of your staff report, just in summary. And you can see that all the way down through task six, the, uh, the items are completed at least to the 90% um, level. And then uh, steady state operation of the, uh, of the treatment units and data collection is about 50%. So that's the one that's furthest behind. And then they would... Um, continue to do updating um, and reporting and meeting um, as uh, needed all the way through the end of the project. I believe that I invited um, Krishna, Dr. Krishna Pagila to be online. Madam Clerk, is, is he logged into the call? Okay. Okay, so I, I Okay, so I believe Dr. Pagila is, is available for questions if the, if the commission has any. Okay, are there any questions from the commission regarding this action item? This is Commissioner Enlow. I just wanted to make a comment that um, 
The pilot plant out at Reno Stead is fully operational right now. All three trailers are running and have been for the last several weeks. Um, we conducted, I think, the first comprehensive water quality sampling test of all the processes from beginning to end. I think that was early last week. So things are going well and we expect to continue with that pilot study probably into early October. And I support this, Mr. Pagila's um, request for additional funding. Thank you. If that was a motion, John, I'll second it. So moved. <laughs> and I will second, thank you. Okay, we have a motion and, and a second for approval of a third amendment to the interlocal agreement with the University of Nevada Reno in an amount of not to exceed $64,655 to continue the advanced water treatment technology demonstration project for fiscal year 2020 to 2021. Any further discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Okay, motion carries. Move on then to item number nine, <clears throat> discussion and possible recommendation to the Western Regional Water Commission for approval of a proposal and funding request from Washoe County not to exceed $170,000 from the Regional Water Management Fund a reimbursement of certain costs relative to the steamboat irrigation ditch evaluation. Chris Wessel. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Uh, this item is in response to the Northern Nevada Water Planning Commission's priorities, which identified the need to evaluate ditch flooding uh, during both the 2019 and 2020 priority setting workshops. Uh, this request by Washoe County for a steamboat irrigation ditch evaluation is intended to address the uh, reference priority. Uh, we have here today is Dwayne Smith from Director of CSD. He's here to discuss or answer questions concerning uh, the proposal uh, for this item. So with that, <clears throat> entertain, perhaps we can entertain any questions or if, I don't know, Dwayne, if you'd like to sp speak on this at all. So are there any questions from the commission? This is Commissioner Enlow. I did have a couple of questions, sorry. Is, is Dwayne there to answer questions? He is, John. Uh, Dwayne hey. Smith, for the record, at the podium. So appreciate you bringing this forward, Dwayne. It's been a, a long time coming. Um, one of the questions I had was the, um, the scope of their effort, um, it, it's not the entire steamboat ditch, it's only a portion of the steamboat ditch from Hunter Creek to Evans Creek, I believe. I mean, was there a reason that you did not try to include all of steamboat ditch in this ep initial effort? It just seems like if they're going through a bunch of data collection efforts we know we have problems beyond Evans Creek. What, what were you thinking there? Well, John and I would just say, um, not just with Steamboat, but with the other irrigation ditches. We all recognize the challenges that are associated with the ditches, both flood and stormwater and impacts to development. So we need to find some long-term solutions, right? That recognize the purpose and the function of the ditches, how critical they are, um, not just for irrigation, but also for stormwater management and flood risk. So the goal with this is to really establish, a, the way I see it, as a, a process to, to go through, look at this area, establish a process that can be used for not just the balance of steamboat ditch, but also for the other ditches. It's flexible. It isn't a joint effort with the city of Reno, certainly, uh, that, that uh, partner there, and also the, the uh, steamboat canal irrigation company. Um, so I think that this is a the first process step john in the process and i think uh, again with our goal we're going to build on this and then address concerns uh, as we're uh, able to both from a funding standpoint and need standpoint as we move forward in the future the, 
Can I ask a second question? He was talking about, this is Commissioner Enloe again, talking about funding and needs. I think originally the county and Reno were looking at providing funding towards this effort as well. Is, is that coming in at a later date or do you think you'd be coming back to the Northern Nevada Water Planning Commission for additional funding? Because I see this only addresses the, really the first phase of the effort. Uh, that's a fair question, and, and I think that we will make those decisions as we learn more going through this, John. And uh, if, it, if it's something that really is in alignment with what the city of Reno and Washoe County uh, can do and should do, um, I think that would be part of the discussion. Um, if it's something that we can uh, also marry with some of the larger needs of the Western Regional Water Commission or the Met Northern Nevada Water Planning Commission, uh, we will certainly have that discussion. And, and uh, I don't see this being done in a vacuum. I see this being done uh, uh, collaboratively. So as we get into those next steps, uh, let's have those discussions and we'll, we'll make those decisions. Thank you. Are so, there, com go ahead. Yeah, yeah, so thank you, Chairman Wright. Uh, uh, Commissioner Flansburg here, City of Reno. Uh, just speaking uh, from what City of Reno's plans are, we are looking at a stormwater master plan effort. This will actually help to inform that effort. We will have additional uh, work that goes in uh, from the City of Reno for uh, looking at master planning of our stormwater. We are also looking at a stormwater utility uh, that our council has given us direction to uh, bring back a proposal to them. So. Uh, there, this, this is going to help us in that effort. So uh, we, we certainly support the, uh, the expenditure and this first work that will be done on Steamboat. Okay, are there any other questions from the commission? Okay, I'll entertain a motion. Uh, for approval of a proposal and funding request from Washoe County not to exceed $170,000 from the Regional Water Management Fund for reimbursement of certain costs relative to the Steamboat Irrigation Ditch Evaluation. That's Commissioner Widmer, I move to approve. Commissioner Flansburg, I would second that. Okay, we have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Okay, the motion carries. We'll go on to item number 10. <clears throat> Discussion and possible approval of an interlocal agreement with the City of Reno in an amount not to exceed $15,655 from a regional water management fund to contract with NCE consultants to provide support for updating the stormwater watershed based water quality planning chapter of the comprehensive regional water management plan. Chris Wessel. Thank you, Mr. Chair. As indicated previously, staff is working on the update of the regional water management plan, which includes uh, a new standalone chapter five uh, stormwater and water based water quality planning. Um, since a considerable amount of the chapter revolves around the stormwater permit program and various other related initiatives, staff has asked Teresa Jones of the City of Reno, who is the administrator of the Stormwater Permit Coordinating Committee, uh, for help developing and updating this chapter. Uh, to accomplish this, the uh, City of Reno has proposed contracting with NCE in an amount not to exceed $15,655. Uh, to help update the regional water management plan inclusive of the watershed planning update, integrated source water protection plan, and the one uh, Truckee water initiative also. So I believe we have uh, Teresa's here with us to answer any questions if you have uh, with regards to the scope of work. Um, so with that, I turn it back to you, Mr. Chair. Thank you, are there any questions from the uh, commission? Not, then I'll entertain a motion to, for approval for interlocal, of the interlocal agreement with the City of Reno in an amount not to exceed $15,655 from the Regional Water Management Fund to contract 
with NCE consultants to provide support for updating the stormwater watershed, stormwater and watershed based water quality planning chapter of the comprehensive regional water management plan. Mr. Chair, uh, Commissioner Solero uh, moved to approve and also authorize the water resource program manager to execute the contract for those for that purpose. Commissioner Wigmer, I'd like to second that. Okay, we have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. We now will move to item number 11, which is consent, like a consent agenda, I suppose, or consent items. Um, we have five items here. Recommendation to the Western Regional Water Commission for approval of the sixth amendment to the interlocal agreement with the Truckee Meadows Water Authority an amount not to exceed $100,000 from the Regional Water Management Fund to continue the water reuse review program for fiscal year 2020-2021. Chris Wessel. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Uh, um, this particular item is styled for essentially a single action um, in the consent item consent the consent items consist of certain long-term annually funded projects that are brought to the commission every year for funding approval since the projects are well established uh, with the commission staff is presenting these as part of an overall consent agenda and agenda for the sake of efficiency if the commission feels that any of the proposed funding requests need further discussion or if there are questions, you can ask to have that remove an item removed from the consent agenda, and it can be dis, uh, considered separately following the action on the remaining items. Um, I, I had not planned on discussing any of these in particular. However, we um, again, if, if there are any uh, questions or or a desire for discussion on these, we can pull any one of these off consent um, for further deliberation. Okay, I understand. <clears throat> All right, so this, uh, these five items then would be approved through a motion, unless uh, there is a question on any one of them that can be pulled. Um, so with that, I'll entertain a motion to approve the consent items. Mr. Chair, this is Commissioner Solero. I move to approve consent items uh, 11A through 11E. Okay, do we have a second? Commissioner Flansburg, I would second that. Okay, we have a motion and a second to approve the consent items uh, 11A through 11E. All in favor, say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Okay, now we'll move to item number 12, our program manager's report, Jim Snyderman. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, these are the two pages that you're used to seeing in the program manager's report. So uh, uh, item 11A is just a status report in a very short form of the projects that are ongoing being supported by the Regional Water Management Fund. Uh, on the flip side, uh, 11B or 12B it looks like on this one. I think it's, a, it's 12B, excuse me. Um, is the financial status report as of period 10 uh, so we have a couple more months to go in the fiscal year, and it looks like our, our revenues are tracking well with our projected revenues. I think we were within 15% of, of uh, all of the revenue that we projected this year. So with uh, water use increasing in the springtime, I think that we'll, uh, we'll find that we probably will exceed uh, our revenue projection. And then down at the bottom, you can see that our expenditures are well under what we budgeted at this point. So we are in good shape and we'll, we'll finish the year uh, well in the black. Thank you. But back to you, Mr. Chair, for any comments or questions. Okay, there, are there any questions from the commission? This is Commissioner Enlow. I just had one comment. Uh, Jim, I thought, did you make a comment about water fees increasing because TUMWA has deferred um, our rate increases, I think, until at least the August or September board meeting where they would reconsider it again. 
So there's, even though the board approved it several months ago, they've taken action to defer that rate increase. Okay, were you looking for a comment from me on that? I thought that's what you said about fee increases. No, I was, I was talking about the, the revenue that we've projected and that we right. were based on a Tumwa fee increase. Was that your point? No, no, it, it wasn't based on the Tumwa fee increase actually. Okay. We're still monitoring. This is John Endo again. We're still monitoring our um, water usage because our commercial usage is significantly down, but our residential usage is um, running about the same. So we're watching it closely. So all I'm saying, Jim, is you may see a decrease in revenue, but probably not a significant one based on water usage. Okay, understand, uh, Commissioner Anlo, right. Um, this, this projection obviously didn't uh, anticipate the COVID-19 response and uh, a lot of people working from home and not going to the workplace or, or out into the, into the uh, marketplace. And so uh, the commercial um, usage decreases could affect the, uh, the revenue. So we may, uh, we may not, I, I maybe shouldn't have been as optimistic as I sounded, but we'll see what happens. We've got a couple more months left to go. Uh, ne next year we may see an effect as well. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Are there any other questions or comments for uh, Mr. Smitherman? I'll entertain a motion to... Uh, uh, Mr. Chair, this is a non-action item. Not an action item, okay, all right, FYI. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, all right, then, uh, are there any questions, any more comments on the uh, program manager's report? Okay, we'll move on then to um, item number 13, which is discussion regarding location possible agenda items for June 2020, Northern Nevada Water Planning Commission meeting and other future meetings and possible direction to staff. Jim Smitherman. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, our next meeting would be scheduled for Wednesday, June 3rd, 2020. Uh, if, if the restrictions on um, gatherings are lifted, then the location would be the Washoe County Commission Chambers. Uh, if we're still in, uh, in uh, modified operating mode, uh, then we would uh, hold the meeting similar to, to how we're holding it today. So that will remain to be seen as, as time goes on, but uh, we'll certainly get um, an update and, and have a decision made by the time we post um, three days prior to the, three business days prior to June 3rd. Uh, Agenda items that I'm expecting to be on that agenda include the uh, consensus population forecast that is done every two years by uh, the Truckee Meadows Regional Planning Agency. So we'll have Dr. Jeremy Smith here to present that. And then an item that travels along with that every two years is that the consensus population forecast is compared to uh, the sustainable water resources that we've identified in the regional water plan uh, to ensure that we have adequate water supplies to uh, supply the 20-year uh, the population forecast. And then that is a recommendation that moves on to the Western Regional Water Commission for their final determination. And then also uh, we'll have uh, recommendations from staff on revising the conformance review procedures. This is something that we talked about a couple of meetings ago. Uh, they would be recommendations to the w Western Regional Water Commission to uh, amend its resolution number three on procedures for conformance reviews. And then finally, we'll have um, an update on how Chris and I are doing with the, uh, with the Regional Water Plan update, and then the other um, typical items that you'll see staff um, uh, uh, minutes approval and uh, and uh, manager's report. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Back to you for uh, discussion and a motion. Okay. Are there any <clears throat> any comments or discussion from the commission? So I guess I'll entertain a motion to uh, schedule our next. Uh, 
Northern Nevada Water Planning Commission for June 3rd, 2020. This is Commissioner Whitmer so approved? Commissioner Flansburg, second. Okay. Discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Okay, the motion carries. Um, all right, now we'll move on to item number 14, which is commission comments. Okay, Commissioner, Chair, Chair, Chairman Wright, if I could, I'd just like to uh, thank you for your leadership this past year. I think you've done a fabulous job and we really appreciated having you here on the Northern Nevada Water Planning Commission and look forward to continued participation and working with you. So thank you. Thank you. Uh, Commissioner Solero, I will second those comments. Thank you very much. <laughs> thank you. <clears throat> All right, uh, go on to item number 15, staff comments. Uh, just one staff comment from me. Um, last meeting I had announced that my retirement would be effective uh, July, or not July, uh, May 23rd, um, and the uh, Western Regional Water Commission Chairman has asked me to stay on until things return back to normal, uh, whatever normal is gonna be uh, on the other side of this. Um, so I have decided to push my retirement date off to July 17. So you'll have me around for a couple more months. Thank you, Mr. Good. Chairman. <laughs> All right. Um, number 16, item number 16 on the agenda is public comments. No public comments. All right. Then the last item is adjournment. So I shall... Before I uh, call for adjournment, I too just want to say thank you to the commission and, and uh, the staff for, you know, for the time that uh, served and as for myself as a chairman of the commission, you know, uh, for a couple of years, I just tried to avoid it, but um, I actually enjoyed it. So, you know, I appreciate, you know, uh, serving uh, as a chair of the commission uh, for this term and, um, you know, with the situation of this uh, pandemic, um, that I wish you all well and, and uh, stay safe and, you know, keep your family safe. And, you know, we've got an increase of cases out here on the, on the reservation and we're trying to do our best to, you know, encourage uh, stay at home and, and uh, the social distancing. And it's given me time to work on my field and my ditch and I got to replant my field this year. So, uh, whether I'm at the office or whether I'm at, at home, I'm keeping busy. Um, with that, I'm gonna uh, declare this meeting adjourned. Thank you. <laughs>